President Uhuru Kenyatta has defended his decision to reject the nomination of High Court Judges Joel Ngugi, George Odunga, Weldon Korir, and Agri Muchelule, who had been recommended by the Judicial Service Commission, JSC, to join the Court of Appeal. The head of state, while brushing aside criticism for appointing 34 out of the 40 recommended judges, hinted, without elaborating, that the six nominees he rejected had intended integrity issues that had been detailed by the National Intelligence Service, NIS, and other security agencies. And as Francis Kashiri reports, attention now shifts to Chief Justice Martha Kome and the Judicial Service Commission that she chairs to determine the next course of action for the six rejected judges. <laughs> A day after ending a two-year stalemate on the appointment of 41 nominees recommended by the Judicial Service Commission for appointment as judges and immediately opening a new war path with his critics for rejecting the nomination of six serving judicial officers to rise to the Court of Appeal and High Court, President Huru Kenyatta played host and witnessed the swearing-in of 34 judges picked to join the Court of Appeal, Lands and Environment High Court Division, as well as the Employment and Labor Relations Court. <laughs> The president, directly responding to a barrage of criticism directed his way after declining to appoint High Court judges Joel Ngugi, George Odunga, Agri Muchalule, and Weldon Korir to the appellate court. He also rejected JSC's recommendation to appoint Judith Omange and Evans McCory as judges in the Lands and Environment Court. Just like you today, I too took an oath to both the letter and the spirit of the law and it is not open to me to turn a blind eye to reports of our state organs. The president, however, did not disclose the integrity issues raised against the six nominees, critics reading malice in his rejection of Ngugi and Odunga, who sat in the five-judge high court bench that stopped the BBI reggae, declaring the clamor for constitutional amendments through popular initiative and constitutional null and void. Omange, the high court registrar, and Makori, a chief magistrate, are judiciary insiders whose elevation was rejected by the president. As long as I serve as president, I will choose the right over the convenient, I will choose the hard over the easy, and I am not doing this for myself, but for the people of Kenya and for posterity. Kenyatta unfazed by pundits who hold that he could not cherry pick on the nominated judges for appointment. His failure to appoint the 41 nominees, the source of constant friction with immediate former Chief Justice David Maraga. All of those that are honored with a service to the nation, in the judiciary, the executive, all the legislator, legislature, that we have a collective duty to service the people of Kenya, all 50 million of them, both here at home and abroad. We are one government bound together by our common duty to deliver the hopes and dreams of Kenya. All the 34 judges appointed by the president turned up for the swearing-in ceremony at State House Nairobi. Msaga Mbogoli, Helen Omundi, Mumbi Ngugi, Francis Tuyot, Pauline Nyamwe and Jesse Lesit joined the Court of Appeal from the High Court. Legal scholar Dr. Kibaya Imana Laibuta, the only outsider who joined the appellate court from the world of academia. I, Mwaura Ana Giboine, judge of the employment and Labor Relations Court. Nine judges were appointed to the Employment and Labor Relations Court. Eighteen judges joined the Lands and Environment Court. My only advice to you is one, serve with dedication and with utmost fidelity to the oath that you have subscribed to. You are the bastions of justice, defenders of liberty, instruments of law and order, guardians of the rule of law, and the embodiment of the hopes and dreams of our people. With President Kenyatta returning to JSC, names of six nominees whose appointment he rejected, accompanied by reports detailing the specific allegations against them, attention now turns to Chief Justice Martha Koome, who chairs the commission and her team to determine the next cause of action for Ngugi, Odunga, Muchelule, Korir, Omange, and Makori. Francis Gashuri, Citizen TV.